Hello, and welcome to Awesome Mods Weekly number 6. These are the most awesome mods that were uploaded in the last 7 days, and the 20 of February. There are a lot of awesome weapon mods these days though. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> You ever wonder what are the shop stuns are for? Nothing is even on there. Why are they even here? With the immersive vendor by X Groovy Cherry, the stuns actually display the stuff that they sell. You will see weapons on weapon shop, meds on clinic, and even random shits on general store. And of course, there are variants for each shop level. Nice. So here is a normal run through the commonwealth. As you can see, nothing fucking happens. So, if you want something to happen? Commonwealth spawns extended by Engager will give you the option to increase spawns of enemy in Commonwealth. At the highest setting, you meet enemies everywhere. Well, almost everywhere. It will turn Commonwealth into a war zone. Save your ammunition for this chaos. You need it. So you ever wonder? Where does dog meat store on your stuff? Well, my theory is that he fucking ate it and just vomited it out when you need it. Okay, that's that's kind of weird. But yeah, you don't have to worry about him being fat anymore, cause with dog meat's backpack, you can give him a backpack. Come in three variants with different extra weights. And how adorable is this? Come on! So the next five mods are actually just weapons. Awesome ones though. Starting with the very well-known Desert Eagle. 50 AE by Doom is actually a mod from Nivigus made by Listed and ported to Fallout 4 by Doom. The gun looks extremely nice with options of silver and gold and grapes. It has a few mods including armor conversion to silver, magazines, grips and flashlight that replace big boy flashlight, has custom sounds and 4K textures as well. WH-77 modular LSW by Skipadar. Fuji's a machine gun that supposedly the child that resulted from day unprotected motor sex by M249 and M60 come with a bundle of gun mods, custom visuals and sounds. If you're looking for a damn amazing machine gun to replace the vanilla ones, this is it. The hunt for a patriotic shield by Junari adds a straightforward scavenge quest to get the Captain America shield. You can start the quest at Root Cellar in Sanctuary. The shield itself comes in three colors with very nice texture. Like, very nice. You can feel the oomph with each hit. I find this mod very underappreciated. Another underappreciated mod is Craftable Customizable Buster Sword by DD Production 83. I guess the reason that these awesome weapons are underappreciated is because they break immersion, but seriously, this is a damn nice melee weapon. The iconic Final Fantasy VII sword, not only it has eye candy texture, it also has very cool mechanic. There are two slots for you to add materials, in you know, other words, mods. Each material gives you three effects that can profit run chances. Come with 3 color variants and 10 materials, there are a lot of possibilities. The creators of this mod obviously put shit tons of work into this, you should check it out. Well from the same people, here's M79 Tampa Great Launcher, which is a very fun and law friendly weapon. It does also have a very high quality texture, come with 3 types of grenades, which with 3 ways of shooting, we have the normal way, the grip shot, and the AMIRV grip shot, which is the most batshit crazy way of shooting for this weapon. It is tailored to be balanced, so yeah, awesome stuff right here. That's it for this week guys, I'll see you guys again in the next video. I got a week off, so I'll post as many videos as I can. Anyways, and those the mods that you like, they like and subscribe. I'm off.